Noah Fant was tight end 35 last year, 50 receptions, 63 targets, 486 yards, four touchdowns, an average of 3.7 targets per game. Thoughts on Noah Fant? This offense just is not centered around a singular tight end. They have a couple different guys that they focus on. Um, he is a bi-week fill-in. Maybe if there's an injury or two, you, you look for that and hope for some red zone targets, but very touchdown dependent and a guy who is not going to be on my draft board. Yeah, I'm not drafted Noah Fant. Um, I just don't think that it's there. Will Disley's also still on the roster. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not in on Noah Fant. He's a streaming option, a break glass in case of emergency guy. Yeah, Seattle has a ton of targets that go to the tight end. Right, they were fifth in the league last year in total targets to tight ends. The problem is, is that they run so many different tight ends out there. To, to catch those things that the target share gets diluted. Yeah, it's not, it, it's very much not, even though they, they throw so many balls to the tight end, it's not the, you know, like you see in Baltimore, or Kansas city, where it's one guy absorbing all those targets and they're going to get a hundred plus targets to it. These, these guys are going to cannibalize each other to the point where yeah, 50 targets, 60 targets is an exceptional season to it. And even in that case, there's not many red zone targets that really go to the tight ends there to the point where they cannibalize each other on that one as well. So uh touchdown dependent type of tight end, not a guy that I'm going to be looking for um, as a late, late round tight end strategy. I'll, I'll find a different guy there. So